another one. We back one more game with another episode of the Mighty Vicious Trailer Reaction Reviews. Today we're talking about Lost in Space Season 2 on Netflix. Let's get it. This is Will Robinson of the 24th Colonist Group. I'm making a record of this because it seems we're the first humans to try and turn a spaceship into a sailboat. Anchors away. They done reached a whole new level of nigganomics around here. How you gonna turn a spaceship into a sailboat? And I mean, if you turn it into a sailboat, how how, how long have you been on this planet? Like for real? How have you have you observed the 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 surroundings? Have you seen where the river leads? Where are y'all trying to get to? This is some old tomfoolery if I've ever fucking seen it. I am the passenger. Can we just get where we're going once without crashing? Oh. Everyone, step in! Will, come on! I love you guys! The what? There's a waterfall? Yeah, man. I mean... Can we get somewhere for once without crashing? No, that's because y'all don't think shit out. Just absolute hornswoggle is what I'm talking about. I mean... <sighs> I just really dislike when I watch something and these people are supposed to be scientists and they ain't got no common sense. You thinking about the robot? I wish he was here too. We need to find him. We have to at least try. That robot is the key to everyone's survival. There's that guy. That's the guy I'm looking for. I was a little worried that they actually wouldn't bring him back after the way the first season ended. Because, like, didn't he fall off the ship in space? So I don't even know how he would be on this planet. I need to go back and rewatch. What the heck is happening here? Where's everyone else? They left. Do you know why? The monster. How many of these things are there? I mean, come on, it can't be too bad. That man has obviously just gotten off a nine to five. The customers ran him through. He got reamed by the boss. Yeah, he's getting poked a lot. But all I'm saying is you can come from around that corner and stomp that nigga out. I mean, real talk. Like, I know you want to be saved, but you got to work a little. Like, sometimes you got to do something. You can't just hide behind the desk. We need to get out of here and leave all this behind. We have to protect ourselves. Normal is out there somewhere. We just have to find it. Excuse me. Okay, we gonna come back to the space antelope, but how is this bitch still alive? Let me first start off by saying that Parker Posey is playing the fuck out of this role as Dr. Smith. But, I mean, how is she not dead? If you had a dude on your squad who every time you turned around he had a gun pointed at your head, would you let that man be on your squad? No, he would be in the dumpster. Why? Because we shipped him and put him there. The point is, you can't have somebody on the squad that's constantly trying to kill you and your whole family multiple times. In it, in just like six episodes, she tried to kill them like 12 different ways. How are you going to let this person be on your squad? I didn't get a job. Your job is to do nothing and touch nothing. She never likes it when someone else saves the day. You, your mom, your sisters other safe. I love it. Will Robinson, can anybody hear me? Baby! See, now this is why I was talking about common sense, because I've always felt like the one thing that ruined this show as far as the first season goes is that I can't really believe that these scientists would survive these odds because they make silly decisions for the most part. Now, they got some good decisions here and there, but now you up against a wall of, of fuckbot 9000 and I just really don't get how they can win against those odds making the decisions that they make. But I'ma watch it though, real talk. Do 
we really have to do this? Okay, I know I've been talking a lot this episode and I don't know, maybe even sounding a little negative and cranky, but I just want to say that I do enjoy the show and I think it's one of Netflix's better shows and it's real hype that that robot just said, help Will Robinson. At least that's what I heard. Either way, it's talking now and I'm a fan of that. So the robot is the best part of the show and the best character in the show. Just the character development they've gone over with it was amazing from first episode to last of the first season. So as always, if you like what you hear, leave a like, hit that subscribe, share your boy out there with other peoples. I'll catch y'all next time.